Welcome to CountArts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the net present value or the NPV using the financial calculator, specifically the Sharp EL738. Now we've looked at this example before. We looked at it when we were doing a lesson on how to calculate the NPV using the table. And we also did another lesson on how to calculate the NPV using Excel. So if you'd like to check that one out, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or you'll find the links in the description below or at the end of this video. But in this specific one, we're looking at how to do it using the financial calculator and you'll see how simple it is to do it. So I'm using the EL738 Sharp. So if you are using a different calculator, it might be slightly different, but the principles remain the same. So here is the example. Sit Tight Limited, a company that manufactures chairs, is considering the purchase of a machine for 65,000 Rand. The expected cash inflows generated by the machine are as follows, and we are given cash inflows from year one to year five. And we are told that after the five year period, the machine is expected to have a scrap value of 5,000 Rand. The company's required rate of return is 7%. We are asked to advise Sit Tight Limited on whether or not it should purchase the machine and that we should base our recommendation on the net present value of the investment. Now we know we will accept the project or will accept the investment if the NPV or the net present value is positive and we reject it if the net present value is negative. So that is what we need to advise it tight limited. If it's negative, we'll tell them not to purchase the machine. If it's positive, we'll tell them they can go ahead and purchase the machine because they will make positive returns. Now, how are we going to do this using the financial calculator? Well, one important thing with the financial calculator is you have to bear in mind and pay care, very careful attention to the signs, the positive signs and the negative signs. Here we're only given cash inflows. If there was a negative cash cash flow, which is cash outflow, then we'd also consider that very carefully. And then we know that when we make an investment, our cash flow is at year zero. So when we make an investment, and in this case, the purchase of a machine, it's going to be at year zero. So the first thing that we need to do in our financial calculator is to make sure that we clear the memory. And how do we do that with the Sharp EL738? You click second function. After second function, you click this one written alpha which on top you can see is written memory clear. And then after that, you click on zero and then you click zero again to confirm the clear memory. After you've done that, your memory is now clear. Now you can do calculations. Very important to always make sure that you clear your memory. So let me say it again. It's second function, alpha, and then zero, and then zero again. If you happen to forget that one, or it seems to be too long for you, at the back of your EL738, you have a button here written reset. So you can take a pen or anything that you can click with it and it will clear your memory for you. So that's another simple way of doing it. So let's go ahead and calculate the net present value. So the first thing that we need to do is ask ourselves, what is the cash outflow at year zero? Because we're making an investment here. Well, we know that if we purchase the machine, we'll be purchasing it for 65,000 Rand. So that's going to be a negative cash flow. So what do we do? We put the negative cash flow of 65,000 Rand. You can see here we have where it's written plus minus. So if it's negative, we're just going to click on this one here. So we click on it and then we click 65,000 Rand. You can see our cash flow appears as a negative. And then we press this one written enter here. And what you can see here, it's given us our data set and it's given us zero. This means that this is period zero. So that is very important to always ensure that it's at the correct year that you intend. And then we move on to our question again. We are told that the cash flows from year one to year five are as follows. The first year we have 13,000 Rand and it's a positive. So we're just going to plug in 13,000 and then press enter. You can see it's showing us as a cash flow at year one. So that's very important. Then we move on. Year two, we have 18,000. So we just plug in 18,000 and then you press enter. And then year three, we have 19,000. So we're going to put 19,000. 19, and then you press enter. And then year four, we have 14,000. Then we're going to press 14,000. And then we press enter. And then at year five, we have 9,000. 
but we have to pay careful attention to the information. We are told that after the five-year period, the machine is expected to have a scrap value of 5,000 Rand. In other words, scrap value is a residual value or the value that you will be able to get after year five. You can sell it for that amount, 5,000 Rand that is. So we have to include that as a positive cash flow at the end of year five or at year five. So we have already cash inflow of 9,000 Rand. So we're going to add 9,000 plus the 5,000. So we're going to take 9,000 plus the 5,000 and then we press enter. So that gives us the cash flow at year five. You can press equals, then you press enter to see how much that is. So it gives us 9,000 plus, plus 5,000, it gives us 14,000. Now that we have put all our cash flow from year one, to from year zero, which is the initial investment at year zero, until year five, which is the 9,000 plus the scrap value of 5,000 Rand. Now we can press this one here on or C just to clear the, the to clear the screen and then once we've done that now we need to get our our net present value so you click second function so you'll press on second function and then you press cash flows or it's written cash cfi so you click press that one and then you can see it's asking you what is your rate well we're told that the company's required rate of return is seven percent so we're going to click uh, to put seven and then press enter and once you've done that, it has registered our uh, rate of return. And then you press the down arrow. So once you press the down arrow, you will now click compute. You can see what's on the screen, net present value. So what, that's what we want to compute. So you press compute and you can see we have a negative net present value of 956 point 57 what does that mean that means we will not invest in this project we will not purchase this machine because our net present value is negative that means if we purchase this machine all the returns if we discount them to year zero we will be making a loss of 956.57 rand and that is what the net present value means and that is how we use the financial calculator the sharp el738 to calculate the net present value i hope that has made sense and you've learned something and if you've gained value from this lesson please consider subscribing to our channel till next time cheers